Hi, Mr. Fersman here. So today is the big Sacramento competition and I am entered in full beard styled stash. So today I thought I would show you how I style my mustache. It's a pretty long process. Uh, it's been a lot of trial and error. A lot of videos you see on YouTube just show you how to style a tight little tiny mustache. But as you can see, I've got a long one. So it's been a lot of trial and error talking to friends here and there. So you'll see how this becomes this. This. Over here. So, enjoy. So I just got out of that shower, and the first thing I want to do is put some oil on. Uh, I use this stuff. I'm not sponsored. I just really like Gibbs. Uh, it goes on not too greasy feeling. Very easy to comb through. So I've been using it pretty much for about a year or so. Because my beard's so long, I need quite a bit. So I usually put it in the palm of my hand. And then just the tips of my fingers will take it and just slowly just kind of brush it in. Notice I'm not going after the mustache too much yet. I'll put more oil on later, but this is just kind of make it more manageable. If I don't do this, later on down the line, I'm going to have a really hard time brushing. Because it'll dry all tangled. Now this is entered everyone. I've got a very curly, curly beard compared to most people. So I have to do this now, otherwise it'll just be a disaster. Okay. That's done. Yeah, looks okay. Now, before I go styling, I'm going to brush it a little bit quick. I use a coconut-infused dry comb. You can get these at any beauty supply store for like six bucks. So don't, here, rule number one, don't spend a lot of money on a beard comb. You can usually find them at beauty supply stores and they work just fine. This stuff just slides right through. Now, this is mostly going to tangles out. This will make it much easier down the line, after I'm done styling, to go and rebrush the beard and make it look good. Now here's another thing too. Keep off of the, the mustache. Mustache hairs can be very fragile. Okay. Just one little brush over. That'll do. So, next step. I'm going to use heat tamer. Very important. This stuff. If you don't use it, you're about to burn your, your beard, and you'll show you why. I, to get it nice and styled, will flat iron the mustache out. Very hot. This will keep it not burning. So basically, just take it, and you're going to spray all along as much as you can. You have as much coverage. I go underneath, too. And get it all just nice and wet. Make sure you do both sides, just cover everything you can. And trust me, you'll thank me for this later. So one key thing is, do not use the flat iron while it's wet. So, I'm going to plug in my flat iron, this little thing here. Little mini flat iron, you get them on Amazon for fairly cheap. Uh, it's a lot easier to get the iron the mustache than the bigger ones like for hair, so for head hair. So I'm gonna plug this in and you warm it up and then when this dries, we'll come back in the flat iron. Another brush you need to pick up. Uh, Boris personal brush? Yeah, Boris personal brush. They sell these on Amazon for way too much money. Don't spend like 20 bucks. Again, $6 at a beauty supply store works just fine. Best brush I've ever used, plus it's big. I've seen these go for really small ones, like that big, for like $20. Don't waste your money. I apologize if I keep looking at the viewfinder over here. It's kind of hard to watch what I'm doing through the lens. This is also good for distributing oil, too. Either once it's on your beard, doing this will even the oil out, or you can actually put the oil directly on the brush. And I find that it goes really well. I'll go again to this later, but. You can see just nice evens it out. Let's see, we're getting close to being dry here. A little bit lo longer once I let the uh, flat iron warm up, we'll do that. So the basic idea here is smaller mustaches, you can just get wax and just curl them up and they'll stay up. Longer mustaches are a lot heavier. So what we're going to do is build a base, basically a mesh right here. It's going to be nice and hard and solid. We're going to go to about up to here and then start to curl it up. 
Let's say we're dry enough here. Okay, flat iron time. Again, be very careful. Even though the heat sealer was on there, you don't want to be very careful with this because you can get hot. Don't stop in one spot. Whatever you do, don't stop. So, I just kind of grab by the edges, start at the top, and just slowly work it down. Not, not so like quickly. Again, do not leave the flat iron on the mustache. Just gently work it out. My mustache too, you can see, it's really curly right about there. So I find this flat iron is a good way to separate it out so I can actually get a nice part in the middle. I've done this, let's see, one, two, three, four. This is my fifth time. So I don't have a whole lot of experience, but every time I get better and better. So you'll find too, your beard kind of gets in the way right around here. When you're trying to get around the sides of the mustache. Um, it's a little tricky. This is by no means the right way to do it. This is just how I do it. Also, something to keep in mind, watch the rules of your competition. So our competition has a rule of 1.5 centimeters from the edge of the, the corner of the lip. So if you'll see here, right there is where I'm going out, no farther. Do not try and bunch more to make it thicker. Because a mustache, for a style mustache, goes on the mustache itself. It is a separate entity from the beard. Okay, I'm going to go start to it. I'm going to take a comb and see how much I can separate it. I tend not to comb my mustache too often because my hair is a lot curlier than most, so the mustache comb can get kind of caught in there. When I get one of these, the Kent combs, focus, focus, those. So these are saw cut combs there. There's no jagged edges. To be very assured that you're not going to pull hairs out. That in mind, be very careful. Like I said, mustache hair is very delicate. If you feel like you're getting close, stop. Close to pulling some of your hairs out, as is. As you can see, and I'm not brushing very, very hard, just very lightly. Just to kind of run it through. Okay. I'd say that's pretty much as good as we're going to get here. Okay, and now comes the fun part. Hairspray. I use Got To Be Lewd. This stuff is rock solid. If you put it on right, your mustache will never move. Freestylers use this too. They make the crazy loops and all this stuff like that. So this stuff is key. One warning, it's very sticky. Very sticky. Be ready to wash your hands a lot. Because it can get very tacky and very difficult to get in there. And the first way to start, spread a little bit on your fingers. Like this, a little bit on your fingers. And just slowly work it in. Now again, first thing I'm doing is trying to build a mesh here. On the two sides, to make it strong. That way, the mustache as it goes up will not be droopy. If you mess up at all, it's water soluble, so you can just wash it out with water. There's nothing more satisfying with this. If you use wax in your mustache, It'll take you half an hour, an hour to wash all that wax out. Use this stuff, you just dunk your head in water, it's gone. Also, one thing, you don't want to go too heavy with this. Because it can get kind of clumpy. So, you want them to look as natural as possible. So I'm just putting a little bit of my fingers and just slowly working it out. As you can see. Be very careful with the center part here. If you get too much of a mesh in there with the hairspray, it's going to be hard to get a comb through, so if you mess up, you'll do the whole thing over again. Yeah, this side's looking pretty good. Not quite as hard as I want it, but it's looking pretty good. If you've never been to Sacramento, Sacramento's a beautiful city, and our competition's one of the best. I'm a little biased, but still, it's a great time. Great people. Another the key thing you're going to need for this, a hair dryer. So what I want to do, start doing here is very gently spraying hairspray here. I'll hit it with the hairspray, hit it with the, uh, what is this thing called? Blow dryer.
don't spray this up your nose. That happens a lot. Also be careful, it beads if you go directly on the beard. It beads a lot. Quickly get those out with your hands. Hey, Mr. Kramer, what you doing? Styling my mustache. Oh, lovely to see you. How's it look? Looking good. So this is where we're going today. 7th Annual Northern California Beard and Mustache Competition. We have, uh, at last check, I'd say roughly 150 competitors. About 400 tickets sold, I think. Maybe more. We might sell out today. We sold out in the past, so that's exciting. Yes. Hey, who's that? <laughs> now, one thing you want to do when you're styling, don't go straight up. That looks silly unless you're doing a dolly. And I'm not doing a dolly, so. What I'm trying to do is go down and then a big out sweeping curl. You'll see. As you go out, good thing to do, get the tip, do a slight curl in, like so. It'll be a more natural sweep as it goes out. And it looks a little more, yeah, a little more natural than just doing it flat ironing out. So many beard people use Gotta Be Glued. I almost feel like Gotta Be Glued needs to make a smaller beard sized one that can get right in there for detailing. We got Tom, I'm working this part more. Let's see here. Right there. Focus, focus. Oh. Hard to do in the mirror, in the, without in the mirror. Let me see. Okay, let's attempt one side here and see what happens. You'll have to do this over and over until it's nice and solid. Make sure I have any beard hairs underneath. I'm just slowly twisting it. At this point, up to here is just solid. Okay. Now, don't go too far out with the hairspray on each side, otherwise it'll just look clunky. You want a nice, smooth line. I kind of like that. Let's do that. So, make sure we're nice and straight. And here's Bray. Here's Bray. Hair dryer. Have it on low here so you don't mess up the hair. And you have the beginning of a mustache. Okay, let's hit it again. This is where having it on your hands is really tricky because it gets very sticky. And again we go. When you're going up, try to avoid pinching it too much. You want it to come to a point, but you don't want to lose the thickness if you can't help it. So that is my end result, where I want it to be. hardest part is to not get it to you, but I like the curl, so I'm going to let that set a little bit and tackle the other side and see if I can get it to match it. Or should we, you know, should I just keep going, get one side perfect and then totally match the other side? I think that might be a better idea. So twist the top, just like this. I'm getting the point. I'll get the point of the right there as much as I can. And as you can see, I'm just curling over like that. Don't rush the hair spray. Don't rush the hair drying. That's the one thing I have a problem with doing is going too fast. Let it dry. It's 
It's too long at the end, the little bits being really a pain in the butt, but I want to cut that down. So let's move on the other side. Don't take any of this as gospel, because there's a good chance next time I style, I will do it a little differently. It's a learning experience. Let's see what we got with that. How do we look? Are we even? You want to push this side in a little bit? Clean it up, but I feel it's looking pretty good. Let's hit it again from back here. I use the camera for to help me. Hmm. Can you see that? You can see I didn't finish this side, it's already starting to droop down because I didn't put enough hairspray on it yet. Now when I'm done, I'm going to hit the tips with wax. It's the only wax I'll use, and it's just kind of to keep the point. For now, more hairspray is necessary. Oh, here's one tip. I always go up a little bit when you're doing one side. It's going to naturally droop down. So don't try and go even, go up a little higher. better. Not quite as smooth as I want it. But not bad. So I just noticed I had some hairs right there that weren't quite on the mustache. Their beard hairs are being pulled into the curl. I'm just going here and pulling them out. So I don't just get disqualified from the category. We're not following the rules. Okay, so right now this one looks good. This one's drippy. Hmm. Let's turn over about an hour and 15 minutes, which is not bad. First time I really did this well, it took me about two hours, so we are in good shape. I really want to get them almost closed off like a circle. But I want it to look natural. The tops are at the ear tape part right now. Looking good. I want to work on the mesh a little more, make it a little stronger, and I want to get the top to just kind of go over in a circle. That part's tricky. No, we're all pretty happy with it. Hmm. Now, I know it's taking a long time to do this. I wouldn't do this day to day. This is just a special occasion, competition. In fact, actually, I've only done this for a competition. I wouldn't do this normally. Yeah, because it takes a long time. Okay, for now, I think we're good. I'm just going to attempt to get these tips under control. A little messy. For that, I'm using AJ's Luxor's Mustache Wax. Focus. Thank you. Oh, I've had this stuff forever and I barely use it. Let's see if it's still good. Yeah, it's still good. That's how much I've used in two years. Most of that was for my beard two years ago. Or last year. Last year, yeah. So I use mustache wax. Got a little bit on the back of your thumb, like so. And you're going to rub it between your fingers. this. Oh, 
I'm also using it so the tips stay tipped. It's good to get the wax nice and hot between your fingers. Makes it going on a lot easier. I think it's pretty good. I just have this little tip there. You can't really see them. Let's see that right there. That and that aren't quite as round as I want them. I can always touch them up later because my category is near the end of the competition. So intermission is probably the best time to go in and spruce up. I'd say we are done. I'm going to clean it up when we get to the competition here and there, but that is, that is perfect. What do you think? So, like I said, I am no expert by any means. This is only my fifth time doing it. What do you think? I think overall it turned out pretty good. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Um, if you would like to see the actual competition that this mustache appeared in, you can click over here, right there. I'll have to remember how to like leave space over here for annotations. So click here for the competition or here for some previous videos. So until next time, Furzman out.